Okay, in our last video, we added characters to the world we've made. This time, we're going to start to make those characters actually work. So as previously, we could go to resume. Again, I'm going to go to load world. I'm going to go to test world. And I'm going to go to edit again. See the tree, the castle. On the other side of this, if we rotate around, you can see the flying fish, the rock, and the two apples we've added. Now, we're going to program, let's say, the flying fish first. So we're going to go back onto the object tool. And this time, we're going to click on flying fish with the right-hand mouse button. And you'll see the whole range of things come up. For instance, we can rename him if we want to. Let's call him Oscar. OK, so this flying fish is now called Oscar. Now, if I right-click again and we go to program, we can now choose some basic programming. Programming in Kodi is very simple. There's two sides to it. There's the what you do, and there's the what it does. So in this case, we're going to say when. And to keep this simple, we're just going to use the keyboard. And then we're going to choose what on the keyboard you want to use. I want to use the arrow keys. You might want to use the WASD buttons. And what do I want to do when I use the keyboards and arrows? Well, I want it to move. So I'm going to click here, and I want it to move. And if I just press Escape, and I press Play, you'll see that my fish is now moving around. I can explore my world, and I can have a look and see what I can see. And you can see how the fish moves. If the fish doesn't move in the way that you like, this would be a good chance to delete the fish and replace it with a different character. Later on, you'll put too much coding in, and you won't want to remove it anymore. OK, I'm just going to turn my fish around. OK, so the fish moves, but at the moment, the fish is only able to explore. So I'm going to press Escape. That takes me back out of the gameplay into the editing menu. Let's see, it moves me back into the move camera option. I'm going to go back to Kodu again, or Object Tool. I'm going to right click on Oscar 1, and I'm going to go to Program. So we've got the keyboard. We've got moving the arrows and creating movement. But I want it to do something else. So what I want it to do is I want it to do when. And in this case, I want when it bumps something. So I want to say when it bumps into, not anything, I'm after something quite specific on this one. And what I want it to do is basically I want it when it bumps into the apples, I want it to be able to collect them. Now the apple is an object, so we go to objects and we go to apple. So when it bumps into an apple, what do I want it to do? I want it to eat it. Okay, so let's try this again. So we press escape, we press play. We know the two apples are basically in front of me. So if I walk to, or <laughs> swim towards it, you can see one of the apples has just rolled away. Let's see if we can find that. Okay, one apple down. So we can get the second apple. You hear the munching as it ate the second apple. The volume on this recording is quite low because uh, Cody is quite loud. So if you didn't hear it, try it on your own machine. You should see it. Now, this is all good. But at the moment, this cycle is not doing anything. So let's press Escape. And let's see if we can make this a bit more interesting. So we could have the cycle chase us. Or we could have the cycle try to beat us to the apple. So let's go in. Let's go back onto the object tool, the one that looks like Cody. Let's right click. And again, we can rename this. Let's call this one Frank. So Frank is going to chase Oscar, or rather, Frank is going to try and beat Oscar to getting the apples. So we're going to right click on here, and we're going to go to program. We don't want to control Frank. We want Frank to control himself. So we're going to say when he sees the object, and in this case it was the apple, we want him to move towards it. But I want a chance of actually winning this game, so I'm going to set him to go slowly towards it. Now that's great, but he can't yet eat it, so he also needs, just like Oscar, the chance to eat it. So we say when he bumps the apple, You should eat it. Then we press escape. So when he sees the apple, he moves towards it slowly. If you find this is too easy, you can just remove that slowly option. 
just right click and go cut tile but I want him to go slowly at the moment when he bumps the apple he should eat it so we're going to press escape we're going to press play and I'm going to have to be a bit quicker this time in the hope that okay we both got one apple that time if I'm quicker I might beat him to it if we try it again we could also put other apples in other locations around so if I press escape now this would be a good chance of going to adjust your game. So there's only two apples and they're both right beside each other. So we can go back into the object tool. We can again click in a range of locations and we can put some apples in. This way, we've got a bit more of a chance to do this. A bit more of a chance to actually be successful in our game. So we're going to press play again. And this time... gone for that one it was a bit closer as soon as I get quite close to it you can while you're playing still use the scroll button to move in closer I think I got that one Let's see if he's got that last one I think he's aha not quite yet okay and I think that's all the apples now got Okay, so we've created a very basic game at this point. There's several issues with this game. One, it's got no end. Second of all, there's no points or lives. But these are things we can add on. We could make it more interesting by making these um, objects interact. And we could also add more in by making more things happen within the game. But for now, let's just save what we've got. So we're going to press escape. Let's go to the home. Let's get save my world. Again, we're not changing any details here. We're just pressing save, save, press the home again. And at this point, we can exit to the menu and then we can choose whether we want to quit or go back into editing it.